Good morning, brothers and sisters. For momentary light affliction is producing for us an eternal weight of glory far beyond all comparison. 2 Corinthians 4, verse 17. It is easier to endure trials when we value the future over the present. A few years ago, the popular Back to the Future movies dealt rather whimsically with the possibility of time travel, which always involved entering the future. The reoccurring theme was that with all the complications of tampering with the future, it was better to live in the present. Viewers could infer that, ultimately, it is not worth it to dwell a lot on the future. That is just the opposite of what the Apostle Paul's attitude was about the future. He dealt with the profound certainties of what awaits all believers in the life to come. For Paul, the value of the future was another important reason he could endure life's sufferings and trials. The temporal pain for him and us is inconsequential compared to what awaits us in heaven. Trials are inevitable and the pain associated with them can be very intense. But when compared to what we will enjoy in the future, they hardly matter. Paul saw them as light afflictions, or literally, weightless trifles. He knew that their real significance is only in how they contribute to our eternal glory. That contribution is anything but trivial. Rather, it produces an eternal weight of glory. Concerning this expression, it's as if Paul envisioned an old-fashioned, two-sided scale that was being tipped in favor of the future by the cumulative mass, eternal weight of glory, of his individual sufferings. Paul could endure the pain of present trials when he was certain that they contributed positively to his life in heaven. The amount of trials and sufferings you and I endure now is also directly linked to our eternal rewards. Those rewards are not external bonuses such as fancier crowns, better robes, or bigger heavenly mansions. Instead, they refer to our increased capacity to praise, serve, and glorify God. That fulfilled Paul's greatest desire and enabled him to joyfully persevere in trials and it should do the same for us. Maranatha.